The U.S. Mint is releasing lucky money for 2019, the Chinese Year of the Pig, a sign of prosperity and good fortune. As for whether the two countries are also on a path of prosperity, U.S. President Donald Trump sounds optimistic. We had an incredible meeting yesterday with the,、uh, the Vice Premier of China, a very powerful man, highly respected, very.、Uh, Very strong, very respected, also by the president, President Xi, and、uh, we had an amazing meeting on trade, mostly on trade. Actually, also on fentanyl.、Uh, China has agreed to criminalize fentanyl. That's going to have a huge impact on fentanyl coming into the country. American farmers also feeling upbeat, says Adam Nelson, director of national legislation for the Illinois Farm Bureau. We have lost sales. And you know, I think the longer it goes,、um, the more likely it is for these countries to come up with new supply chains. You know, that's the fear. Author and political commentator Po Kongchen said the positive reception is the result of a calculated decision by China to focus on appealing directly to President Trump. Liu He sent Xi Jinping a New Year's gift this time. The focus of this negotiation was not on the trade agreement, but on getting Trump to meet with Xi Jinping again. The most important thing for China is to save face for Xi Jinping and to let him have something to show domestically. In Washington, lawmakers like Senator Marco Rubio praised China's purchase of more U.S. agricultural products, but said more work needs to be done. One of the biggest concerns is technology theft. China is, going to, is a great power; is going to continue to be a great nation. It's not about containing China, but there needs to be equilibrium in our relationship. And it cannot be that they can do anything they want here, but they restrict everything we want to do. And it cannot be that they steal the things we innovate and then use that to put our companies out of business. Tough words from U.S. lawmakers while the negotiating teams continue to meet. The Washington talks had a muted reaction in Beijing, where officials said the next round of dialogue will continue next month in China. Nagi Chin, VOA News, State Department.